Today we're going to talk about some issues that have been cropping up on TPI bikes. Uh, what this is, is it's related to the crankcase pressure sensor. These are sensors that all TPI bikes have. The ECU is using this sensor to measure the load on the engine. It measures the pressure within the crankcase. The problem is, is some of these sensors are going bad for some reason, and it's causing the bikes to run pretty poorly. Uh, here's a replacement sensor here. The sensors are about $40 from KTM, but I'm going to show you a quick test you can do without having to buy any parts to determine if this is causing you problems or not. So the symptoms of a bad crankcase pressure sensor are stuttering and sputtering at lower RPMs. Basically, the sensor is telling the ECU how to provide fueling at right around 1 8 to 1 quarter throttle, and then RPMs kind of in the lower half of the range. And so in the footage here, you can kind of hear how it's affecting how my bike runs. It's really just a sputtering mess down low, and it makes it pretty difficult to ride smoothly. So you can hear this is sputtering pretty badly. It's pretty annoying to ride. So the quick test we're gonna do is we're gonna take the two sensors that come on these bikes. One is a crankcase pressure sensor. One is an ambient pressure sensor. Both of these sensors on the 2020s and 2021 KTM TPI bikes are identical. They're the same sensor. So what you're gonna need is a T15 Torx driver to be able to get to them. One sensor is here on the left side of the bike, kind of tucked up under the frame. The other sensor you can find on the right side of the bike here, just in front of the shock reservoir. This one's measuring ambient pressure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the sensors and then we're going to take the bike back out and see how it runs. What this tells us is if the sensor measuring crankcase pressure is bad, we're going to put a hopefully good sensor in its place and see if the bike runs better. So now that I've got the sensor swapped, I went ahead and took the bike out for a ride and found that it runs significantly better. All of the stuttering and hesitation is completely gone. In fact, it runs better than the day I bought it. Even. So hopefully this helps you identify issues with your TPI. I don't think this affects a huge percentage of bikes, but I do believe that this is uh, something to look out for and this should be a quick, easy test to help you diagnose the problem. 